Good evening everyone. Today I am going to review the book new 3000 speakers ordinary people with extraordinary lives written by Sudhamurthy. So some would we might want to inspire like Kalpana Chola, Sarojini Naidu and Mother Teresa. They mesmerize us and mesmerize us and being the catalyst for a social change. So Sudhamurthy is one of them. From an engineering engineering student to become to lead India's biggest IT company in forces is an extraordinary story. She has a prominent impact on Indian society. So, Sudhamurthy born on 19 August 1951 in the state of Karnataka. As we all know, she is the she married to the famous Infosys co-founder R M Narayanamurthy, and she is a mother-in-law of British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. So, let's dig into the book. It is a 11 real life stories or experience that she narrates 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 in through this book so as a girl as a, a infosys co-founder is infosys chairperson infosys foundation chairperson and as an engineering student so the first story is named 3000 stitches it is basically she helped 3000 devadasis to keep their wretched profession and gave them a respectable job and income so Devadasis are the prosecute that are known in Karnataka. So she approached these 3000 women and convinced them to quit their profession and gave them a respectable job and income. So changing these women is not easy for Sudhamurthy. She welcomed her with a chuckles and tomatoes when she approached them. But she never gave up. She break ice, ice with these women and made them to quit their profession. So uh, after 15 years of growth of these women, they, they organize a function and invite Sudhamurthy to, as a chief guest of that function. And they give Sudhamurthy a quilt that is teaching 3000 3, women that Sudhamurthy helped. So the book's name and the cover page of the book came from this story in which she helped 3000 women. The second story is named How to Beat the Boys. How to Beat the Boys is basically the engineering life of Sudhamurthy. She was only a girl, girl student in her uh, engineering college. So she had, has to face so many problems, prejudice and partialities in her college. She overcome with courage and she became an engineer in life. So second story, uh, story is basically the engineering life of Sudhamurthy. Then the third story. The third story is named as Food for Thought. Food for Thought is nothing but the food variety of India she ex experienced. So Sudhamati is a traveler. So she experienced so many variety of food, uh, richness of Indian food. So uh, the food variety of India is explained through this story. So Sudhamati says that India is not a country. It is, it is a continent in which variety uh, different culture different variety of food cultures and she treated india as a uh, continent so the fourth story is named three handful of water it explains the cashy trip that done by sudhamurthy so the cashy trip she, she explains her experience in the cashy trip so a dip in ganga how it ch changed her life how it made uh, impact on her life so a dip in ganga uh, open a gate of wisdom for her and all her desire to occur is gone with that dip. So how three handful of water changed her life is explained in this story. The fourth story is Cattle Class. Cattle Class is a very famous incident that happened to Sudhamurthy. When she, uh, she wear a sari while traveling, when she travels to London airport and she is in the queue for acquiring business class ticket. So suddenly airport attendant appeared and asked her to stand in economic class. So, so uh, then there was an argument between Sudhamurthy and this airport attendant. So, so uh, after some time this airport attendant turned and tell her friend that it is difficult to argue with this cat in class. So Sudhamurthy tells that classiness of a woman is not ba based on her look or money. So Mother Teresa is a classy woman and Sarojini Naidu is a classy woman. She exemplifying some great women 
through these stories. The fourth story is, uh, the fifth story is uh, a life unwritten. It is not Sudhamurthy's story, it is basically her father R.H. Kulkarni's story. So R.H. Kulkarni once helped a, a, an unwed mother to pursue a career in nursing. So this, uh, uh, this uh, nurse then educate her daughter to become a doctor. So after so many year, years, R.H. Kulkarni realizes that her uh, this doctor, daughter of this doctor, doctor of this nurse, uh, built a hospital named R.H. Diagnostics. So how a kindful act or, or, or some help, how it influenced one's other's life. So Sudhamurthy owes us to help others and uh, help others. So the next story is a powerful brand ambassador. It is basically about the Bollywood mania all over the world. That is bo how Bollywood stars are treated abroad. So uh, Sudhamurthy is travel all around the globe. So when she travels abroad, when she says that she is from the land of Bollywood actors or actress, they often give her discounts. So the Bollywood mania or Bollywood uh, affection of these foreigners towards India is explained through this story. The next story is, is uh, a day in Infosys Foundation. This story narrates which Sudhamurthy tagged her friend all along in a full day with her office that this friend can't understand why Sudha can't attend a function in her house. So it, it is basically a, a day in a, info, a chairperson of Infosys Foundation, which we can get through this story. The next story is there is a nothing and there is no place like home. This story is uh, Sudha's dream. So so many women are work abroad for better lifestyle for her family. Uh, for uh, they expect. Uh, 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 respectable uh, the some income and uh, lifestyle while working abroad but they they been cheated in abroad and they couldn't get any any advantage being there they only became slaves or beams of their masters so Sudhamurthy dreams about sending these women back to India safely so uh, reading a book penned by Sudhamurthy is a wonderful experience. So you should read at least one book of Sudhamurthy written. So I force you all to read one of this book, one of Sudhamurthy's book. And this book is, um, is, is giving us so many life messages, conveys so many experience. So I, force you to already this book. Thank you.